was appropriately called ITC Kakatiya, uh, you know, uh, going back to the glorious days of uh, the Kakatiya kings uh, who ruled this part of the world, this part of the country for a long period. And I'm delighted now that uh, you've chosen to bring back what was rightfully ours. You know, the Brits took away the Kohinoor, but I'm glad ITC brought it back to Hyderabad. Thank you very much for that. The other thing I wanted to point out, sir, um, you've, you've uh, been kind enough to mention that Telangana has been doing well, and you pointed out to the fact that ITC is water positive, carbon positive, and also you've, you, um, you were talking about your affection for uh, renewable energy when we were having a one-on-one -on -one conversation a few minutes ago. I'm happy to share with you, sir, that uh, Telangana is not only the numero uno state on production of renewable energy in the country today. Out of the 29 states, we are ranked number one, as you pointed out, on production of solar energy. We also are number one on 13 other counts, sir, which includes the fastest revenue growth for any state in India. We're also ranked number one on the ease of doing business. And we also are ranked number one on many, many other indices in health and uh, many other indices as well. I would, I do have a request for you uh, on this occasion, though I know this may or may not be the appropriate forum, but like you said, once I have you as captive audience, once I have you listening to me, I think I'll not let go of this opportunity. I'd be remiss to miss this opportunity not to put in a request. Sir, in the last four years, while we've been actively pursuing um, new investments into the state of Telangana, and we've been quite successful uh, through the TSI pass that you have kindly uh, launched for us, we've been able to attack, attract uh, more than uh, $20 billion of investment into the state in the last uh, nearly three years now. We've also been uh, giving clearances at a breakneck speed, almost 6,700 clearances in less than 15 days so far in the last three years. But um, we also have come out with some very, very interesting and novel initiatives in industry. One of the in uh, industry initiatives that I'm extremely proud of is called the Telangana State Industrial Health Clinic. Because before we pursue and before uh, we go after new investments across the globe, it's also important that we take care of our existing customers and we also uh, ensure that they not only survive but thrive. So as part of this policy, all the sick units, all the units that went sick in our state before we assumed office, we've been able to, with a great deal of uh, effort, revive some. For instance, uh, Sirpur Paper Mill, which of course is one of your competitors, we've been able to uh, revive them with the help of industry partners, with the help of the banks, and with the help of financial institutions. And it's almost uh, uh, on the final leg now. It will soon be revived. Same is the case with Ramagundam Fertilizers uh, Limited. We've been able to also revive RFCL with the help of Government of India. And a couple of other cement companies as well, cement factories, which had shut shop, we've been able to revive them as well. But I do need your blessing and I do need your support on one important factory in Telangana, in a, which was set up in a remote a district called Warangal, which now is part of the newly formed Bhupal Palli Jayashankar district, a unit called the BILT, Balarpur Industries Limited. If ITC as part of its uh, expansion, as ITC as part of its uh, proposed investments into Telangana, if you can take a look at the possibility of working with the state government on making a viable business proposition out of the Sikh industry, we will be reviving more than 2,000 plus jobs directly in the remote district in Telangana. So I do believe and I do hope with the kind of value system that you've set up as the chairman of this wonderful organization and with a wonderful top management team, you know, including Mr. Puri and Mr. Anand, I do believe that uh, the state of Telangana will uh, be benefited immensely if you could also look at this proposal. And once again, sir, I'm thankful also. I'm Minister for Municipal Administration and Urban Development as well. So as part of your initiative, the WOW initiative, the, way, the wealth out of waste or well-being out of waste, um, you've, you've continued to work with us. ITC continues to work with us uh, in various municipalities in segregation of waste and in, in, in ensuring that we also become, uh, hopefully, someday, a car carbon positive state as well. So I do request for you to continue this uh, support. And I also do want to promise you that this location where you have now unveiled Kohinoor will transform itself drastically in the next couple of years. You see a beautiful lake right next to it called Durgam Chiru, which we are trying to convert into a major uh, you know, uh, 
tourist attraction, major uh, attraction for the citizens of Hyderabad. We are building a beautiful uh, track around it. We're, we're adding a number of other wonderful facilities around it. And then we are also building a beautiful suspension bridge along the lake, across the lake. And then you'll also have a tunnel parallelly running next to you, um, which again should also take care of the traffic concerns and the infrastructure inadequacies in this part of the town, which is growing quite rapidly, as you pointed out. So this location that you've chosen, sir, is not only wise, it is most definitely the most happening destination within Hyderabad, which is happening, uh, uh, which is a very happening city in India right now, if you ask me in terms of investments. So you've chosen wisely, and I do believe that uh, every rupee that you invest in Telangana, sir, will get you a better return on investment than anywhere in India is what I would like to promise. Once again, thank you very much for this opportunity and the honor, and I'm delighted. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen a younger version of Sachin Tendulkar. <laughs> right. So, Honorable Minister, we have a young and dynamic managing director, Sanjeev Puri, and he has taken upon himself to take ITC forward and grow this company in its triple bottom line dimension at a rapid pace, more rapid than ever before. And he has a plan of 25,000 crores of investment in the next five years. And your suggestion will be seriously looked at by him. Thank you, sir. And if you offer us enough incentives, Absolutely. there is no reason why we cannot take our partnership forward. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. So thank you very much for that. And, uh, since Mr. Puri is going to invest 25,000 crores in the next five years, I'm your new best friend, sir, by the way. Offic officially, I'm your new best friend from now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing those valuable words. In fact, Ma Abhinandalu, uh, Shri Katie Ramarao Garu. Me presence, Ikada, in fact, it's been like a wonderful experience for all of us. Can we have a huge round of applause one more time for the very dynamic Shri Katie Ramarao Garu as well? And on that note, may I please request the Managing Director of ITC, Sri Sanjeev Puri, to deliver the vote of thanks. Honorable Minister, Sri Keti Rama Raoji, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Before I propose the vote of thanks. May I just mention what I just said to the Honorable Minister, that ITC is already a best friend of the state, and we are already best friends. And that's why 